Hi, this is Instructional Development at UC Santa Barbara. Flipping your course is a great way to free up in-class time for more meaningful interactions with your students by shifting some of your lecture content and interactions online. Here are a few questions to guide your decisions about flipping your course. Question 1. Which activities need to take place during class? Sometimes the answer is based on practical or logistical reasons. But often, the answer comes from the parts of your course where students need more guidance from you, the expert. To get started, consider each week's objectives and lecture content. Specifically note where your expert thinking skills help students in the moment. For example, you, the expert, know how to approach content from different angles. You notice nuances and use mistakes as learning opportunities. In addition, review your assessments to identify exam questions or elements of projects that students commonly struggle with. From there, ask yourself, what content can students learn independently to free up class time? And what pre-class homework will prepare students for in-class learning activities? To encourage students to do that homework, try creating online, low-stakes, automatically graded assignments. These should guide students through the material that you won't cover during class, help them self-check their learning, or give them something concrete to do in preparation for class activities. In this example, the instructor wants students to do a practice analysis in small groups during class. The study guide has students outline the analytical process. The quiz focuses on key points that won't be covered in class. Both are due online before class and are automatically graded. The last pedagogical question is, what should students do after class to reinforce what they learned or apply it to an assessment? In this example, the instructor reinforces student learning without extra grading by creating a peer review process for students to provide feedback to each other. The instructor can skim the reviews and adjust the next class if needed. Note that this is not busy work, but it is required work it becomes meaningful to students when it motivates them to be autonomous learners by providing timely feedback and opportunities to practice learning without penalties for errors. Importantly, you do not have to flip every class meeting or even an entire lesson. Flipping makes the most sense when it's used with active learning to help students work with you on complex elements of the course. So tell your students how flipping the class will reinforce their learning and prepare them for course assessments. Be transparent about how you will structure class time, distribute materials, and provide timely feedback to help them learn. We hope these pedagogical questions help you get started on flipping your course. If you'd like some targeted feedback about your class, please reach out to us at Instructional Development. Thanks for watching.